Today, we observe Christmas, Easter, New Year, July 4th, Thanksgiving, Memorial Day. All these man-made holidays that we observe today, these are man-made holidays that has been used to counterfeit the holy days of our Heavenly Father. Our Creator, after He created us, He gave us certain days, holy days that He wanted us to rest. We're supposed to observe. And He called these days holy days. He told us in Leviticus 23 that these are holy days that we are supposed to observe. If you look throughout the Bible, you see that Christ observed these holy days. The apostles observed these holy days. Today, we are no longer observing these holy days. The holy days of the Most High has been abandoned, just like he said in Jubilees chapter 1. In Jubilees chapter 1, our Heavenly Father talked about how we, his people, the Israelites, will abandon his holy days. And we will go after the holy days of the Gentiles. That we will follow the heathen and observe their holy days. You will read this in Jubilees chapter 1. You are going to see this in Jubilees chapter 1. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you Google Jubilees chapter 1. Google and read Jubilees chapter 1. And you will see that our Heavenly Father talked about. He told us, even before we did this, even before we did it, the Most High God talked about how we, His people, are going to abandon His holy days. And we will go after the Gentiles and observe the holy or the holy days of the Gentiles. So Satan have counterfeited the holy days of God. Satan have replaced the holy days of God. And his children have replaced the holy days of God. So the, our Heavenly Father told us to observe the Passover. They replaced it with Easter. Our Heavenly Father told us to observe the Sabbath. They replaced it with Sunday worship and Saturday worship. So the calendars, the calendar of the Most High, we have abandoned it. We have abandoned the moon, which is, which is the calendar of our Creator. According to the scriptures, our Heavenly Father, created the moon and the sun to be our calendar. That's why the phases of the moon changes every night. The scripture tells you exactly that the moon is God's calendar. The moon is the calendar of our Heavenly Father. Read all these scriptures. Read all these scriptures. And Google and read the book of Sirach, chapter 43, verse 6 to 8. Read these scriptures and you will see. That's the reason why the phases of the moon changes every night. God's calendar is the moon. The calendar of our creator is the moon. Today, we have abandoned God's calendar. And today, we are following the God of the Gentiles. We are following the holidays of the Gentiles. The holidays of the heathen. Just like the Most High said in Jubilees chapter 1. You have to read Jubilees chapter 1. You will read it to see for yourself. Please, Google and read the book of Jubilees chapter 1 to see for yourself. We have abandoned the holy days, the holy days, the holy days, holy, holy days of our Creator. The holy days that He wants us to observe. The days that He wants us to keep holy. We have abandoned it and we are now following the holy days of man. The holy days of Satan. Christmas, Easter, July 4th, New Year, all Thanksgiving. These are holidays of man. If you observe these holidays, you will not make it into, into the kingdom. You're not going to make it. You will, go to, you will be rejected. Because you cannot accept, you cannot abandon the holy days of the Most High and replace them with the holy days. The Bible tells us that this thing will happen and it has happened. So we have to go back to the actual calendar of our Creator. The Most High God created the sun and the moon to be our calendar. That's why the faces of the moon changes every night. That's where the word the month came from. That word the month is from the month, like when you say 25th, 26th, 27th. 
So God, the moon is God's calendar. Our ancestors were use, was using the moon in the wilderness. Our ancestors did not have iPhone or paper calendar. They used the moon as their calendar. We're supposed to observe the new moon day. New moon day begins the month. We're supposed to worship on the new moon day according to Ezekiel chapter 40, 46 verse 1 to 3. We're supposed to observe the new moon day. Worship on the new moon day. The next day after the new moon day, we go to work. We work for six days. We rest on the seventh day. On the seventh day, the moon will be 50% full. We observe our Sabbath. No buying, no selling, no cooking. You rest on that day. You can read the book of Jubilees chapter 50. Google and read the book of Jubilees chapter 50 to see how to observe the Sabbath. You observe the Sabbath on, on the Sabbath day. The moon will look about 50% full. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. The moon will look about 50% full. The next day you go to work. You work for six days. You rest on the seventh day. This time the moon will look about 100% full. You observe your Sabbath. The next day you go to work. You work for six days. You rest on the seventh day. And the moon will look about 50% full again. This is very simple, very easy to understand. The sun and the moon is God's calendar. When we keep the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of Weeks, the Day of Atonement, we're supposed to use the moon to keep these days. When we keep the Sabbath, we're supposed to use the moon to keep the Sabbath. Saturday is not the Sabbath. Sunday is not the Sabbath. That is based on man-made calendar. We have to go back and use the calendar of our Creator. The sun and the moon is the calendar that the Most High created. The sun regulates the day. The moon regulates the month. So we have to abandon man-made holidays and go back to the hol holy days of the Most High. We have to abandon the holidays of man that has been used to replace the holy days of the Most High. Christmas, Easter, New Year, July 4th, all these man-made holidays, these are counterfeit. We're not supposed to observe these days. We're supposed to observe the holy days of the Most High. Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, Feast of Weeks, Day of Atonement, Feast of Tabernacle. These are the holy days of the Most High that we will we're supposed to observe forever. When you read the book of Leviticus chapter 23, Leviticus 23, when you read that chapter, the Most High told us to observe these feast days forever. Christ observed these feast days when he was alive, when he was here on earth. The apostles, when they were alive, they observed Passover. They observed the Feast of Unleavened Bread. They observed the Day of Atonement. They observed these days. We're supposed to observe these days forever. In the kingdom of heaven, those that make it into the kingdom of heaven are going to keep the Sabbath. They are going to keep the new moon days. According to Isaiah chapter 66, Isaiah 66, 22 to 24, you will see that. So we're supposed to abandon all these man-made holidays and go back and use the holy days of the Most High. Keep the holy days of the Most High. Observe the holy days of the Most High. Just like our Heavenly Father told us. We have to do that. Open your eyes. Stop observing Christmas. Stop observing Easter. Stop observing New Year. Stop observing July 4th. Thanksgiving. These are man-made pagan holidays that Satan have used. He has used the Europeans. Satan have used the Europeans to create these pagan holidays that are a counterfeit of the original holidays of the Most High. Open your eyes. Stop observing these holidays. Go back and begin to observe the holy days of your God. Read the book of Jubilees chapter 1 so that you can see that the Most High, our Creator, talked about these things even before we did it. He mentioned how we are going to abandon His holy days and replace it with man-made holidays. Please read the book of Jubilees and you will see for yourself. Open your eyes. Stop going to church on Sunday. Stop going to church on Saturday. Saturday is not the Sabbath. Sunday is not the Sabbath. You have to use the moon to keep the Sabbath. You have to observe these feast days. Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread. You have to stop observing man-made holidays. Go back and begin to observe the holy days of the Most High. The Sabbath is the holy day. The Passover is a holy day. 
Feast of Unleavened Bread, Day of Atonement, Feast of Weeks, Feast of Tabernacle. These are holy days of the Most High. We have to abandon man-made holidays and go back to the holy days of the Most High. Open your eyes and look into this. Start uh, observing the, the laws and the commandments of your God. Observe His holy days. Open your eyes. If you keep on observing man-made holidays, you're not going to make it into the kingdom. It's a sin to observe man-made holidays. We have to go back and observe the holy days of our Creator. Open your eyes. All praises to our Heavenly Father. I hope that you will not ignore this. I pray that you will not ignore this. Stop celebrating Christmas. Stop celebrating these pagan holidays. Go back and begin to celebrate and observe the holy days of your God. The Sabbath, the feast days. These are the holy days of your God. Just like your ancestors, Christ and the apostles observed the holy days of God, the Passover, the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. The apostles and Christ observed these days, were supposed to observe these days and, and keep all the, rest, all the other laws and the commandments that our Heavenly Father gave us. Thank you for your interest in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through WhatsApp. You can call us or send us a message. You can also email us at lawstogod at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.lawstogodskingdom.com. Download our mobile app from the Android store. Search for Laws to God app. You can also find us on Facebook. Just search for Laws to God. Don't forget, you can also use Skype to call us. Just download Skype on your phone and search for Laws to God. If you are in South Africa and you need a congregation to worship with, give us a call. For more information, that we don't have here on YouTube. Please download our app and check out our website www.losttogodskingdom.com. Help us spread this truth by sharing this video on your social media.